Hello, welcome to another evolution video. In this episode we are going to show you, the evolution of water distribution. But before anything else if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe for more interesting video. A water distribution system is one of the basic needs of human especially living in the city. Since water is the most basic need of human in order to survive in its daily lives. Have you imagine how early human live with their ancient water distribution system? Come and join us, as we journey to the past, to see how water distribution evolved from ancient times up to the modern cities of today. Let get started. For around 4000 BC, early Mesopotamian used clay pipe and capture rain water in wells. For around 2400 BC, Ancient Egyptian used canal and copper pipe for distribution of water. For around 1046 to 771 BC, in Western Zhou Dynasty of ancient China, they dig deep wells as source of potable water. For around 1800 BC, the ancient Greek civilization of Crete, known as the Minoan civilization, was the first civilization to use underground clay pipes for sanitation and water supply. Their capital, Knossos, had a well-organized water system for bringing in clean water to its constituent. For around 46 BC to 400 AD, the Roman Empire had indoor plumbing and they built a system of aqueducts and pipes that terminated in homes and at public wells and fountains for people to use. Rome and other nations used lead pipes, while commonly thought to be the cause of lead poisoning in the Roman Empire. In the Middle Age for about 1236 AD, water supply infrastructure was built to ensure public access to clean water. In medieval London, the city council began construction on what was called, the Great Conduit. This was a complex of pipes that brought water from a large fresh spring at Tyburn to a pumping house with cisterns at Cheapside. This fed local cisterns all over London. Wealthy Londoners could apply to have a private pipe or quill run from the conduit system to their house, giving them running water. This was expensive, and citizens who illegally tapped into the conduits were severely punished. Most people either drew their water from the nearest conduit cistern to bring them their day's water supply. For around 1600, an ambitious engineering project to bring fresh water from Hertfordshire to London was undertaken by Hugh Middleton, who oversaw the construction of the new river between 1609 and 1613. The new river company became one of the largest private water companies of the time, supplying the city of London and other central areas. Since contaminated water is the main reason for cholera epidemic in early major cities. Water treatment is introduced for safe drinking water. Some of the early treatment is sand filter and chlorination process. In today modern age water distribution system is highly introduced to modern cities. In order to cater the demand of the using public. Today's water distribution use steel, concrete, or plastic pipe to distribute water to every industry and household. Different cities and municipalities has its own source of potable water, depending on its own geography and location. Some of the sources of potable water are through deep well, by pumping the water and distribute it. Other cities use river and lake as source of potable water, by treatment of the water through the process of sedimentation, then filtration, then disinfection, and then distribution. In some Middle East countries they used seawater as source of potable water by the use of desalination process. In today's generation we are lucky since we have the technology to make our water safe and clean. We thank for the engineers and people behind for making the water distributed to us safe and clean for our daily use. If you have any reaction about this video comment down below. And if you enjoy watching this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.